Hey crafty friends, it's Chris from Daily Dose of DIY and today I'm going to show you how to make this fun light up camp bucket with your Cricut. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with getting the SVG file. I will link this in the description down below. I keep all of my free SVG files in my um, resource library on my blog. So if you already have the password, if you're already on getting my newsletter, you can go ahead and enter the library and just put in the password and grab it. If you're not, just all you have to do is enter your first name, email address, subscribe. Um, the, the link and password will be emailed to you right away. So once you have that, you just go into the library um, it will ask you for the password, type that in. And then it will bring you into the library where you can see SVG files. They're in alphabetical order. So we're going to go down to the Camp Bucket Stars SVG. As soon as you click on it, the download automatically starts. I'm using the Chrome browser. I like, um, Crown because I can see my downloads happening. So when it's done, click on it. It automatically unzips for me on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you might need to right click it and um, tell the folder to unzip. But you want to make sure it should be in your downloads on Mac and PC and you want to make sure that you have an unzipped copy. You can see right over here is the zipped copy that came in. So if you're on a PC, just right click the zipped folder and then open or unzip. But I can't remember what it says. So then we go into Cricut Design Space and we want to upload that file. So we're going to hit the Browse button and that opens up my download folder. So then you go down to where it says Stars camp and get the SVG. You want to make sure it ends in .svg and then open. That will, here we go, open up in design space. It has the image name. You can tag it if you want to. Let's just put in stars and then save. Then once it, the upload completes, select it over here and then come down and insert the image and then you're in design space. I have it already sized about eight by eight, which is the size I used for my bucket. But of course you can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. You can come over here and hit the ungroup button, move these elements around. If you don't like it, delete it move it however you want and then you just need to come over here and hit text and then put in your last name get it to move up there and how as soon as you have it however you want the design to look as soon as you're ready don't forget to select everything and then attach it together so it stays exactly as you see it when you go to make it. It will stay all that way. It will cut together on the cut mat. So let's go ahead and load up our mat, get this cut and on our bucket. Okay, so let's take a look at everything we need to make this camp bucket. I will link everything in the description down below too so that you can easily find it. We obviously need a five gallon white bucket with a lid. I found this at Walmart for less than $5 for both of them. So this is really, really a cost friendly um, summertime craft to do. We're gonna need our Oracle 651 permanent adhesive vinyl, our transfer sheets, and some tape so we can get that applied to the bucket. We're going to need our alcohol, clean the bucket off to apply our vinyl, 
lights. These are so cool. I found them on Amazon. We can change the colors. We can change. They light up. How fast they flash. If they don't flash. I kind of like this teal color. It's my favorite. A lot of fun. I will link to where you can get these too. And then of course we have our Cricut and our standard green cut mat. So we're going to go ahead and load the vinyl onto it. Let's go ahead and get our vinyl lined up. This is the end of my roll of red. So it's really quite tightly rolled. But I think we can get it smoothed out here and stuck it down. My Cricut is on and set to vinyl, so we're going to go ahead get it in there, load the mats, and click the start button. Here we go. this is about done cutting so we're gonna go ahead and get our bucket clean I'm just using regular alcohol here and a paper towel we want to make sure it's got all the grease and um, finger oils and all that kind of stuff off the bucket we don't want any dirt or anything like that on there so our vinyl will stick to it Let's see some yucky stuff up here go ahead and get wipe it down with alcohol and then get it dried off I hear our cut is done okay that should be good for the bucket we'll go ahead and stick it back over here it's ready to go let's unload our mat looks like it cut everything good a couple of those little stars I might have lost oh there's one on my teeny tiny finger tip but you know what we can go ahead and stick it on our bucket maybe it fell off we can just be in a random spot over there okay so I'm going to get this off the mat we want to flip our mat over and remove our mat from the transfer paper just to help that curl uh, but as I said Mine was already pretty curly. I'm at the end of my red. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get this trimmed down and weeded. And then we'll get it transferred and ready to put on our bucket. So really when I thought this was done cutting, it wasn't. My computer laptop just fell asleep. So it didn't finish the stars on my circle over here. That's what I have going again. Just these stars I'm missing. And while that's cutting, I'm going to go ahead and weed the main part. It appears to be 100% cut again. That's uh, something you should always check. Learn from my mistakes. Check your um, computer, your phone, whatever. Make sure it says that cuts 100% before you unload your cut. Mm -hmm. Those are some tiny, tiny little stars. You could save some of them and decorate your fingernails for the holiday too. Okay, so here's my main cut. Here's the four stars we're missing. We're gonna go ahead and try and get this all on one transfer sheet. And cut away some of this excess. So I guess now you can see how to fix a screw. I'm essentially doing is trimming this down trying to get it back into line of how it would have normally looked and then we're gonna tape it into place okay this should be good for my temporary hold all we need to do is lift that up right 
Okay, are, you, are we ready to see if this is going to work? So to transfer, we're going to take our transfer paper. I'm going to use my arm to hold this down so it doesn't go anywhere. I like to get my transfer paper started. You know what I forgot to grab even? It's my burnishing tool. Is there one in here? Nope. Pretty sure I left it in my travel bag. Okay, we're gonna get this transfer paper and, and I'm just using regular contact paper, guys. I think it works the best for me. It's um, cheaper than craft brand. Any crafty transfer paper, it's usually cheaper. It's not so sticky I can't get the stuff off. I'm going to peel back a section and then just kind of fold back the backing to it. And we're going to get it stuck down here. Stick everything down to the table. Now it can't move. Okay, so I got my Cricut scraper tool and we've got this stuck down to here. I'm just going to start getting that vinyl to stick to the transfer paper. And then I will slowly peel off the backing at the same time that I go down the center. Kind of just do it in all in one big motion. Backing off, stuck down. It keeps all the bubbles out. Here, but I don't think we're gonna need it. Hopefully my little fix works for not being done cutting. Alright, let's see if this is stuck. And back upside down. I'm just going to look at a section here. I'm mainly worried about this. Yep, it's looking good. We might have some issues. It never hurts to give it a scrape from the back. Okay, I think we are ready to get it on our buckets. We're just going to get it right side up. I'm going to kind of line it up. What do you think? That look good? Straight enough? Pretty even from top to bottom. We can make that transfer paper stick down to hold it in place. And I'm going to take my yellow tape and put a line kind of right down the center. And we're going to lift our transfer tape up and make try to make sure everything stick into it. This is sometimes what we go through with transfer and vinyl. It's not always easiest thing. It looks like we're going pretty good. We're going to go until the tape stops us. 
know what? These two just don't want to stick. Get some fingernail in there and see if that helps. Nope. If that's the case you can kind of, kind of in the center it's hard to get to, but bend down and just pull it off as you go. to make this so you can still see it too. There it goes. And that part of the star. So I think this is close enough. And what we want to do, I didn't bring my cutting knife, but remove this part of the backing. I'm going to try to get it flipped back around here to straight. I'm getting a scraper again. Okay, so now we can hold this up. The bucket's going to roll away. I'm going to have to maybe find a way. You can see and I can hold it. Hold your transfer paper up while you scrape down. With your scraper. That just gets it all down even and without any bubbles. Now we can take this tape off the center. This is called the hinge method, by the way. This piece of tape down the center makes a little hinge. So you can take one side off at a time and we don't have to worry about it getting stuck and bubbles in it. So now we can just peel off the rest of this backing slowly some parts don't want to stick. This is where it's a little bit easier to just reach in and grab it with your fingernail. Make sure it's sticking to the transfer paper. Looks like we're good. So we're going to flip it the other way. And the same thing. I'll hold this straight up and don't let it touch yet. You only want what to touch, what you make touch with your scraper. So go ahead and scrape it down. And scrape it all down really good. Then we can peel off our transfer paper slowly. Make sure everything sticks to the bucket. If you have a part that doesn't stick, go ahead and do it again with your scraper tool. I find if you do it this way too, just kind of pull it across versus lift. If you pull it across this way, Tends, tends to stay down a lot better. This little piece has been... That little piece has been giving me a hard time the whole time. But there we go. Minus this little yellow piece of tape. It's on there and it's looking good. Now we just need to add our lights. Set this back up here. 
we're going to test this out. I'm going to put it on my dock when get that down in there, turn it on. I have a bunch of lights on in here so you can see me, but once it gets dark, I'll take pictures so you can show you how awesome this works and looks in the bucket. Maybe if I, oh, I can't turn off my overhead lights without turning off my camera, but shots of this in the dark coming up next. All right, it's finally gotten dusk, so we're out here on my dock. I got our bucket on the end of my dock with the LED lights in it, and you can see it's flashing through the different colors of the LED lights. It's lighting up pretty well. This is a great um, light to help you when it starts getting dark. I'll open it up. I have all four of them in there right now. <laughs> About dropped my phone in the pond. Um, just because it's not quite dark yet, but I think one or two per bucket will work once it is all the way dark. I just wanted to make sure this showed up on camera pretty good. Here comes my cat to see what's going on. So that's all there is to making these camp buckets. Thank you for watching my channel. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next craft tutorial.